going on everyone it is uh wednesday june 3rd there's a 55 percent chance of rain but we're gonna go mow hay so the reason we're being so risky guys is we've got like 230 acres of hay to make we can't cut it all in one day we can't chop it all in one day and we're running out of time the alfalfa is getting ahead of its growth stage on us so we're gonna gamble but we're gonna go we're gonna run all three machines i'm running the 8000 joe's gonna run the white my dad's gonna run the bi-directional we're gonna have to give it our best pray it don't rain let's go going here my dad's got his machine going he'll make the first lap around i got a couple seconds here the biggest reason guys that we're gambling to make this hay is all about the growth stage of alfalfa so when alfalfa gets a flower on it it loses all of its nutritional value for the cow feed and so we want to make it just before the flower well we've got about one tenth of the flowers out right now which is the perfect time to cut it and so we're uh we gotta gamble it's it's make good feed or not to make good feed and, and with our herd and, and for the cow's benefit we gotta make good feed so even with the clouds looking like that we're gonna give it our best let's go most of may so this is alfalfa guys it uh it's the highest protein feed that we can make for our cows it's a legume so it makes its own nitrogen and makes great feed for us you can see it's uh first cutting here we're just over knee high it's really pretty good here it's uh but here's the uh the little purple flowers that i was talking about we want about one tenth bloom so we want one tenth of these plants to have a purple flower to give us the most nutrient quality and the most tons per acre that we can get out of this hay so right now we're about perfect on this alfalfa but we got to get it made dry we can't make it wet and the clouds to the west kind of act like we may get some rain but i'm gonna get back on the tractor guys we're gonna lay some down and hope for the best everybody little update it rained on that first hay we mowed a little bit I'm not enough to ruin it but enough to slow us down and push us till the end of the week here but after yesterday we finally got all the alfalfa mowed after many breakdowns and a horrible day of fighting all the mowing machines we finally got it all on the ground we actually built all of our timothy hay too that stuff will actually bail up for for the cows and today we're going to try to chop most of the alfalfa so thanks for watching and this continued and probably a little bit too long of a video but uh we're gonna give it our best today all right so uh chopper's ready it's right here she's ready to go a couple of the trucks are ready had uh, one issue already though this morning we won't uh, say any names but someone put gasoline into a diesel truck so we just spent about 10 minutes here dumping all the fuel out of that truck so we can put diesel fuel back in so we can go to the field if that's the worst thing that happens today it's gonna be a pretty good day diesel fuel going into the diesel truck but to be fair the diesel tank and the gas tank look very similar so it, it, it can happen, you know. We're in a hurry. Everybody's on edge because we want to get this hay done, but truck's running good. We're ready to go again. So uh, being that it's Sunday, guys, our career today is a little late. Uh, we got my dad in the chopper. I'm gonna drive this truck for now. Um, my sister, uh, 
a CPA who lives in the city. She's come down and she's gonna drive truck for us. And then uh, my very best friend, Jake Ward, he's driving for us today too. Um, so we're a little light. My uncle's gonna pack the silage in a bunk. But uh, this is uh, kind of what Edmondale's all about, what hay season's all about. It's a, it's a family affair. We all kind of bond together, for lack of a better term, to go get the job done. And like I said, I want to thank my sister and, and thank Jake for coming to drive for us on a Sunday. Without them, we wouldn't be doing this hay. So thanks, guys. Well, guys, I think most of you know by now that I am not a fan of John Deere. I am a New Holland guy, real tractors are blue. And here's another prime example of why I'm not a deer fan. We're in the field, ready to chop, and we can't get the head to turn on. Come on. So we can make the head run backwards, but we can't make it run forwards. We're gonna chop a lot of hay going backwards. It'll go that fast forwards. What the problem is it's green update push the button a couple more times it runs that's a deer for you let's drop a now Just the little things guys, just the little things. 